I think you got to give credit to Coach Self what he's done with this group. Uh, to be eight and one at the turn in the, the best league in the country, a uh, mixture of you know some veterans, but I think the Frank Mason's involvement, uh, you know, and Kelly and making some strides, and but you know Perry just uh, you know he's just rock solid, and and I think even last year I, you know, I thought he could have been MVP at the league because he just does, so I, you know he just he's always there for them, and and I think it's like our Will and Shane last year. People, because they're not, uh, they're no frills players. They people forget about them. So, uh, very, I just very disappointed um, in our competitive spirit, especially on the defensive end at the start of the game. Uh, we we are a good defensive team. Uh, we talked about staying in your character, doing what you do, and we just let them get layup after layup to start the game, and you spot them too many points uh, to try to come back. And, you know, our guys didn't quit. They kept battling and stuff and, you know, got it to 11. We had Nigel had two free throws, missed them. Malik got the rebound and either got it blocked or missed the layup. And then, you know, Selden hit a three uh, and Frank had a drive on the next one. And it was pretty much over. But uh, when we were able to get it to Thomas, uh, for some reason, they decided not to trap him. Um, he was very effective. I thought Marcus settled down in the second half and did a better job. But, uh you know, we just didn't get much off the bench. Justin Edwards, he went to the hoop hard. He just, you know, the, he, he's got to finish. And this is all new for him. It's a new level, new game, new atmosphere. Uh, he had the dunk. He had drives first half. I thought we missed at least four or five layups in the first half that could have kept us a little closer. But, uh, you know, that's their credit there. They got good athletes. They protect the lane. And, uh, you know, they... They, they do a good job defensively. I think at halftime we had nine offensive rebounds. I don't know what they had, but we only had four or five points out of that. And they only had like, I, I, I'm going to say five or some offense. We had more offensive rebounds, and they ended up with double-digit points. So they took advantage of their second chance. We just didn't finish. Uh, and, uh, you know, they just outplayed us. Pretty fired up in the huddle after that in that first media. Time. I just disappointed, at, at, you know. And then we talked about not going one on one, and you know having some pride in Garden and not letting him just dribble down the lane and make layups. I mean that's, and I thought we we the big thing and our coaches talked about the last two years here, you know when they make a little run they're going to make a run they're a really good team they've always a good team, you got to keep your poise and make them guard and then you know Javon shoots a tough shot Marcus shoots a tough shot. You know, somebody else shoots a tough shot. You know, we're a team that when we win, we have assists. And we had two assists at halftime. So that I just, you know, trying to challenge them to, to uh, you know, play at a higher level. But uh, you know, maybe I did in the second half. I don't know. Was there any common denominator in the in the first halves here? It, it, it just seems like it's, you guys get into a bottomless pit. Well, they, they do it to everybody. I You know, the, we talked at least at halftime, Oklahoma was down 20 or whatever, and they came back and... Uh, you know, I, it's what I said. You know, one, you got to come in with the right mindset. You can't be affected. You know, we've been to Iowa State. We've been to Oklahoma. We, we played so focused. We guarded. And, and then we came here, and, and we weren't ready to guard them the way you need to guard. And, you know, Bill does a good job. they got versatile parts. They spread you. you got to be hooked up. And then, you know, if you ask for a common denominator, then you go on your own and try to make plays. It's I don't think it's selfish, but they're trying to go make plays, and that's the crowd and the emotion instead of just playing good basketball. And, uh, but, you know, gotta got to worry about Texas Tech now. You have to overcome some kind of mystique here with your guys. Is there, is there anything that they're working against? Like Not that? many people have won here. He's got only nine losses in whatever his 12, 13 years, whatever he's been here. So obviously, no. But you, I mean, you got, if you're going to come in here, you got to guard them and, and, you know, fight them. And, and I'm not saying with fists. It's, I mean, you got to battle them. And, and if you don't do that, if you think you're going to go and just be pretty and, and you know, soft, you're not, you're, you're not going to win. First, it looks like Nino's giving you what he can. How humble is he? Um, you know, we, uh, Luke, our trainer, did a great job. Um, he has a strained or a sprained or irritated patella tendon. Uh, you know, he did three treatments, four treatments Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Uh, Nino ran a little yesterday with us. We just said, warm up and see what you can do. Um, I you could see by his first couple shots, I don't, you know, I'm not sure where his mindset was. And uh, But, you know, he... We just got to see now how he responds. That was our only fear of playing him was the next nine games. And hopefully, uh, you know, we, he, he responds. Well. And we've, we've had some tough luck. I mean, from the beginning, the injuries, 
DJ not being there all year, had three, four guys out for two weeks or more in, in October getting ready. Nigel gets hurt against Iowa State. Nino against West Virginia. It just sometimes that happens, and, and you just got to – can't do anything about it. You coach long enough. You're on a team long enough. Some some years are like that. You just got to keep battling. Where do you see this team at right now at the halfway point in the conference? I mean, you're still five and four, I think. <laughs> yeah. yeah, five and four. Um, you know, obviously competed pretty well with. You know, you go to Iowa, Oklahoma and win a tough road game. You competed with pretty good teams. You know, just you know. You have Nino against West Virginia. Do you win at home? I don't know. You know, we were six and three would have been a pretty good start, um, but you know we aren't and we don't have it. So we're five and four and now. You know, stay the course, mature, keep battling, come come ready to play at Texas Tech on Saturday, on Wednesday. But Gibson had a pretty good second half. What was it that got him going? We just got it to him. I thought we were more patient. That was the you know again I it's that fine line in the first half. You know, and he missed a couple easy ones in the first half that. You know, maybe would have helped us along with some other guys. But, uh, you know, we, we ran some plays. We had a little bit. It's hard when the crowd's so loud to control the tempo and the, mo and the pace of the game on the other end. And, you know, that's why we took some tough shots. We weren't patient enough. Guy didn't get it to him. But he played like a senior should. And, and uh, still, you know, we, uh, you know, he rebounded. He scored. Did a lot of good things for us. What can your bench do better in a game like this so you have balance? Well, it would help the score, that, that's for sure. Just to make some points, um, Nigel, you know, Nigel had some opportunities, one for four from the line. Uh, you know, it just, you know, you've we've talked about when Justin does well, usually we win games because now you got Wes and Justin giving us something. Um, you know, hurt Stephen hurt. It's, you know, I, he did make a couple jumpers on the end, but uh, maybe the game was too quick and physical for him. Uh, you know, when we beat Oklahoma, he he produced, Justin produced, and that's why we won on the road. Bruce, do you feel Marcus in the first half was kind of pressing a little bit? Yeah, he just didn't let the game come to him, you know, and, and you know, that's, that's what we talked about, you know, the preparation, understanding that let the game come play, be ready to guard, worry about that, how you're going to stop your opponent, not, you know, and, and he's a scorer, you know, he's going to get shots, we go to him. Uh, but you know he he took too many quick ones and tough ones that you know we didn't. We're now you say when you ask what Thomas got going, we probably wish should have been a little more patient in the first half. He never got it within single digits in the second. We had a chance. Uh, Nigel had two free throws to go. I think it was 11, and you know, we didn't. And that you know that's your one chance kind of. You know they run off five. I think we cut it back to 12, and we just you know they they were patient, smart, and you know they. It wasn't, you know, they had some, obviously, some spectacular plays, some blocks and dunks, but they just played no frills basketball. But they just, they just outgrinded us. I know you got to rest Thomas, but was he playing so well in the second half? Did you have any hesitancy about keeping him out? Oh, he gets tired. He asked out, I think, at least one at a time. And, um, you know, we've, we've kicked ourselves in the butt a couple times where we, we've gone at Iowa State. We went too long with too many guys, and then we didn't have anything at the end. So... You know, again, you gotta you gotta have some bench guys produce if you're gonna you know be successful. Did you notice the difference when Thomas Gibson was guarded by Jamari Trailer as opposed to Cliff Alexander? Well, uh, I, you know, Cliff doesn't quite know defensive techniques and the preparation. I think we're you're probably able to take advantage maybe a little bit getting some deeper seals, but. Cliff is a great athlete, and he can he can make a mistake. And then he, he we got him on Stephen Hurt. Hurt had the rim. We, you know, we ran a misdirection, went back. He had the rim. He had the bug, and you know, he still came back and blocked it. So, uh, you know, that you know, Cliff's just a young guy learning, and uh, you know, he's still got great upside and you know, great body, great athleticism. So athleticism. You know, I've watched him since I think eighth, ninth grade. So, he's got a good future ahead of him.